Oh, welcome to a new episode of Factorio, this time episode 63. <laughs> the numbers are just doing 63, which is uh, quite funny. Um, yeah, I've been playing around with these things. And it's starting to get messy here, and we should maybe move some things. But not yet. So, this number here, you may guess this accumulator here, and it's displaying the chart of the accumulator. And while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that I should make a detection system that detects if this number is lower than this number, and if so, set this number to this number. So we have the lowest number detection limit, so we see how low it was overnight it would be cool but then I was thinking also what I wanted to do for this episode let's get back to that point is we if we use an accumulator and wired it up to um, a battery shaped image as you may have guessed so we just um, not accumulator right there we need to place it somewhere else doesn't matter right now um, that just place it there so it doesn't make noise uh, eventually so we just hook up this whole system together and then now we want the charge level to to change so what we do is we set enable if white is i uh, know if uh, that is bigger than uh, zero and use colors and then we said to you, we say if it's higher than 2, and we said to you it's higher than 4, and higher than 6, and higher than 8. So now if we use an, a, um, a thing that's a constant accumulate, a constant thing, and we send out A, because we should send out A, not set. Why do I keep doing that? You, 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 and then you, zero, um, six, eight, no, A is greater than, so this will be something like a battery shaped, so now A would be one, so if we higher up A, as the battery is charging, it would charge this bar, something like that. And then um, we just keep on doing that. Uh, so um, A is bigger than 12. So we'll just keep, I will keep on doing that off camera for a bit so you can see the end result. Now the question remains. Alright, the color doesn't work. So if below 20%, A below 20, so should be a number A. But the charging somewhat so it's nice yeah right um oh we should turn that to one and then that might work so oh, it's 60 percent so uh why <laughs> this one is even higher so it's charging lower um so it, it, it looks decent might want to have given an out border it's always on with a different color. Which colors do we still have? We can give it like an outboarder of the color. Let's do it like that. Um, ooh, well, it's pretty, pretty bright yellow. Well, it's a little bit more than I was expecting. <laughs> so now I know why they dimmed the colors. This is really too much. It doesn't look good. You should fix this because it's way too bright in the middle. It's not bright enough in the outer center, so they should balance that out more because also this one does not look that good. Maybe on a distance, but when you zoom in, it looks horrible. My opinion. Um, we should have an outboarder, so we have some just light going around, I think. Like that. Or does that make it too big? That makes it pretty big battery. Thing. Oh. This looks quite small. You can see a lot of um, batteries 
status uh, on this sign. Oh, we could we could definitely put this one right here, and if we connect it up like that, and then wait until it turns day. This one is charging. Look, it's it's charging, so it's two percent right now. This this looks somewhat good, I think. So if we just blueprint this like that and then uh remove it then we can use that because we have that blueprint or oh, if i didn't have that blueprint if i just had it destroyed it would be a pain because it took me quite a long time to make so we just plump that down because i come a lot of times i come around here and i don't want i want an upside down battery so just blimp them down somewhere here. I mean if I just do oh no, they need all need power, so then they should go more to the to the left side. So where is the maximum distance? Right there. Right, I'm standing on it. So uh if we just do like something like this, then we would have a nice battery indicator telling us as you can see it's pretty go pretty hard going up. Um can we just drain it? Drain the battery. I want to see it going up once more. Just to, to be able to see it. Look at that. The battery the battery is charging guys. I know how many electricity there is in our power grid. So and then it turns to white because no normal battery life, you know, you know. And it was almost full. It turns to green. Gray is a bit too much from the good side, but we might also um, we, we rather need a system that indicates us how much light there were uh, last night. So then we need a daylight detector or something. What timer? We could use a timer to reset to left screen. Oh, we need an. Uh, let me search for an. I'm gonna align a search for an, an, a memory cell because I know you can do this, those, but I just want one small one. It stands, you know. I'm thrilled. So we have a normal system right here, and we may. I never tested it, but we may have an, a last night filter right here, and uh <laughs> Should I really go and explain this? <laughs> well, if it works, I will explain it, else I would just keep working on it. So it should go down to around 60 something. I don't know how many exactly. But I think it, it's nice to see all these those displays around, you know. It's, it's, it's nice to see, and it's a battery bar right here. All nice. Uh, basically what this system should do I'm gonna, gonna stand right here and tell you a little bit so we have the accu uh, accumulator again um, the accumulator is uh, checked if the accumulator is 100% if it's 100% it will send an I1 then if last night um, it was not it was under 100% it will continue sending that one and if received a one by this one it will set a counter and that counter will be set after x amount of time uh, after z amount of time so 6000 uh, 6000 uh ticks so it would be uh, 100 seconds or something then after that happens then when it sets a signal to uh when the counter is low than 10, so it has been reset. Then C is sent, and C is 1, so 1 times 100 is 1, and set to C. Then the last counter, no, B would be C. B would be the same as C. Well, let's just do plus. I don't know. Just keep it this way. I will be set B to C. So that would set it back to 100%. And then we have a uh, set reset. I'm over here somewhere. 
Oh, this one is going up. This one isn't. Yes. Good. So basically, uh, we have A is smaller than... If A is smaller than B, so if the... For you, that is now... 99% is smaller than the last time. 69, which is not. Then it will enable the set reset. And the set reset is these two. <coughs> Found them somewhere. On the internet. Well, I don't have internet, so yeah. Long, li long live mobile uh, <coughs> internet. Um, and that also sends back into here, and that will send it back over the system. And then we have this one, <coughs> which is converting the red line that comes out of this one <laughs> to a green line we need for this system. <coughs> so basically, now we. We have the full use that last night it was at 63% and this night uh, it's just, uh, r right now it's at 100% so we know that the power dips to 63% which is more than enough so now let's check the timer <coughs> if this one is full which is correct and the last night is smaller than 100% B is 200 why would B 200? B is connected to U. U of B 100 set. So let's not connect U to U, but maybe to U. And then we're not tapping B off, but A. So if A is smaller than 100, A is exactly 100 because it has been reset. Alright, so we need to not wait another night. Or should we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... No, we cannot really. Um, it's, it's such a mess with wires, and a lot of it's connected to this station, which is nice. Uh, also, we can remove this one and connect it like that up. So now it's at zero percent, which is nice. So it has been reset. It. Good to know we can do that. So now the timer is counting, as you can see on the right side. Uh, the input signals is it waiting till Z. So 6,006K, uh, but this is at I, which is 1.8K. Uh, I'm going to increase that eventually, just looking up the uh, day-night cycle factorio, and then somewhere in the neighborhood of the day, day cycle, I will set it to, I think. But anyway, um, let's keep it right there. Let's change the number, it needs to reset to, to 3000, because that would go a little bit quicker. So it now has been... Oh, damn. Set it to 300 instead. So when it's below a certain amount, which it was, then this one would send a signal. Yes, it did. Then this one would send a signal. Yes, it did. And that would send C is 100. That would say ESP plus. Oh, we're missing one red wire. No, we're not. What's wrong with you? That's probably the pull I removed right here. Let's see, we still have to do original run right here. So U is indeed connected to only that. And it's still right here. Little bit debugging, you know. You are not saving the proper properly, which is a bit weird, because you were working before, and now you're not. Didn't we need that signal in here? That's the set reset, and this one should be like that. Um, we still have a working version right here or not? Probably not, because this is a working version, because last night it was 63%, so that's working. So we just copy that over, walk into here, flip it down right here, and see what's wrong. Now instead of this ball, we have connected these two up, that's right, to there, yeah that's working. But it's not setting reset, let me figure it out. I think I found it out what it was. <laughs> there was no signal B in the system. Apparently it cannot reset without a signal B. Which is a bit odd. But 
We now have a signal P, and it's night, and it's almost 60, what was it, 62 percent? So this one is not properly resetting, or does it? It has a time of 600. It should reset. I don't know why this one is not resetting. 64, 62, 63, 63, 62. Um, meaning, this is just really cool. So, uh, basically, why would it be useful? Why do you want to see what it, what the power dip was last night? Now, just imagine you're coming back to your base and you wonder, well, I have plenty of power left and you see this sign saying 12%. And you're like, no. 12%, meaning, the last night the power dipped to 12%. So last night the power dipped to 64%. You see it's working out. And now I know 64%. So I have two thirds left of the power uh, of the accumulators at night. So if we we'll go to here, you can also see that probably. Um, so um, yeah, so something like that. So it would be a one third or something. Apparently this is one third. I don't know. Now I know the exact number. So I can make the syst my, my base at this moment, if the, it is really 64, I can make my base three times as big and it would be still a little, little, little bit power left at the end of the Look, it reset it at the end of the day. So the reset time, of course, needs to be bigger. So uh, I'm going to search for that. But now we have a timer that tells us when the day and night cycle uh, what the power was during night without watching. Great. Yeah, it's working. I tested it last night, which is before I started recording. It it plopped down from uh, it plopped up from 65% to 100, which meaning that this system finally works. Oh, uh, I will just. Again, open everything so you can see how this. I used a 15,000. So, if you want to build this, run a tutorial. If you want a tutorial, leave it down in the comments below. If you want to build this, here is the numbers I use for this kind of stuff. Just pause the video and look to how I did it. So did I have already that one? No, here you go. Here you go. That one. That one. That one. That one. Um. This system is the same as the other one. I don't know if I already showed you yet, but here it is. A little bit quicker because I think I already showed you. There you go. And this is just a numbering system that I have over here. Which meaning that we should find a dedicated place for this stuff to be. There's also some... Um, Oh, should we call it junk? Junk stuff right here. We should, do we have raiders on me? No? no apparently not. Let's just do it in... Uh, like that. So we should uh, find a dedicated place that we can put these things. Uh, we could put this out of sight and put this inside. That would be nice and all the same count for that stuff. Um, then we have this thing I want to work on. Uh, we need a lot of few blueprinting stuff to be done. Uh, this can, of course, go away from for now, and then I let variables will pick some stuff up. Oh, that's why I get more robots because I request robots and I make fifty, and if you use fifty, I request fifty. Ah, that's why. I keep wondering how I get more robots than I ask for. It was a bit of art, but yeah. I want to meanwhile want to thank you guys for watching this episode again with me. I hope you enjoyed a little bit because this is really technique stuff in Factorio. And some people just don't love like it, and some people do. And I like to play my world like this, so I hope you like the episode. <laughs> But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you another time. For now, goodbye.